Guo. The legend of the Guai Miao, the ghost cat. The first sign is when the shutters rattle. Oh, first sign, rattling shutters. The second sign of the Guai Miao is when its shadow drifts through the room. But the third and final sign is when the lantern blows out. Sogwo is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yes. today. Tai Tai insisted they go on their afternoon stroll, but he said, it's crazy to go out on a day like this. Tai Tai's hat spun in the wind, and when she let go of the magistrate, he started spinning too. His imperial robes were bitten by a dragon statue, and Tai Tai's sleeve dogs almost became sleeve birds. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> uh, but you tell it so well, my dear. It was almost as if I was whirling in the wind with them. Well, thank goodness everything was sorted out in the end. And no one was hurt. Have I ever told you the legend of the Guai Miao? The ghost cat. It was in the time of an ancient dynasty during a wild and windy night. Very much like tonight. <laughs> Everyone at the bat colony said, Fufu, you're nuts to go out. You won't catch any bugs in this wind. <laughs> I said, oh yeah? I'll have so many bugs blowing my way. I'll have to open a bug stand in a market. <laughs> huh? The ghost cat 
Guai Miao floats over the village, searching, ever searching for a home. The first sign that the ghost cat has entered your house is... Ghost cat? Uh, the first sign is... Uh, hmm, when the shutters rattle. Oh. The second sign of the Guai Miao is... When its shadow <gasps> drifts through the room. But the third and final sign that the Guai Miao has arrived is when... The lantern blows out! Mm, looks like there's no ghost cat here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You almost had me there. You make it sound so real. Huh? Shigua, you should have been asleep hours ago. It's so scary up in the attic. All the wind and the go... Um, uh, and the wind. That's all right, dear. You don't have to camp up there tonight. You can sleep in your own bed. But, but I don't want to miss our clubhouse camp out. And I don't want Dongwa to think I'm a friend. That I'm scared. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take her back up. Maybe I'll even tell you a little story. Not, Not a scary, scary one. one. Then Dong will grab the blanket like this. <sighs> that was really rude. Then he called me a freaky cat. Oh, being careful when you don't know about something doesn't mean you're a freaky cat. <gasps> oh. Oh, not much for us cats. We can see really well in the dark. Now humans on the other paw, they go, Hey, who put out the lights? Where am I? I can't see a thing. What's that? Stare! <laughs> now who's afraid he cat? Not me. You see, sometimes when you're frightened, it turns out the scary thing was just something silly, like a stare. Yeah, something silly like... Like the Guai Meow. What was that, Shigua? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, do that funny walk again. One on, Shigua. That's it. I give up. You one wind, and I'll just wait for you to blow over. <laughs> Great batch in the belfry. It's uncomfortable all upside down like this. Ah, much better. Rock a bye, Betty, and his deep cave. The ah! why meow? What? Who? Where? The ghost? Where? Why? First sign. Rattling shutters. Why meow? Ghost cat. Why meow? Oh, Chigua, go to sleep. Now, now, Chigua. There are no ghosts here. You've just had a bad dream. And when the wind blows... Whoa, 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 whoa. It wasn't a dream, Sogwa. I heard Ye Ye tell Mama and Bob about the ghost cat. The, the, the Gwai. Oh, Chigua, that's just one of Ye Ye's old spooky fables. And, and the Gwai Meow is invisible. It, it can be anywhere. The second sign is when you see its shadow, and... If the Gwai Meow is invisible, how can it make a shadow? Oh, yeah. How could it? The, the shadow of the Gwai Meow! Shigua, I just told you there is no Gwai... She's really scared. Oh, come on. I was only 
joking around. Hmm, still not comfy. Now, if I wrap this wing like this... <laughs> Much of a disappointment. Hi, Fufu. Good night, Fufu. That's what we all need. A good night's sleep. Oh, Dongwa. <laughs> you were so scared. I wasn't scared. Just a little startled. That's all. It's like Ye Ye said. Sometimes what scares you turns out to be something silly, like a lantern. Or foo foo. Hey, wait a minute! I'm a bat! I don't sleep at night, and I'm not something silly! <laughs> Shigwa, I'm sorry for scaring you and calling you a fraidy cat. That's okay, Dongwa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I'll give this weird sleeping at night thing a whirl. But I'm not sleepy. Got any good bedtime stories? I heard a good one from Ye Ye tonight. You see, there's ah, this one. Good night, everybody. Such a fraidy cat. Surprise! I think we should celebrate celebrating. The bigger, the better. And talk about big. Look at this moon. In China, families celebrate the biggest and brightest full moon of the year during the moon festival. They'll find a favorite spot and gaze at the moon. But that's not the only thing. What's the best thing about the moon festival? The moon cake! They're round, just like the moon, and they symbolize family togetherness. Some people say that long ago during wartime, moon cakes were used to carry secret messages. Today, they're just for eating and celebrating this important family holiday. What about you? Do you think about the moon? Well, the moon is in outer space, and it's pretty near the Earth. It's, it's, a, it's a little smaller than the Earth, and it's made of some sort of rock, I think. And um, it has an interesting surface. There's no air, and you have to wear this clumpy space suit, and, um, you, weigh, and you weigh so little. You hardly weigh anything. Every fall, um, um, I celebrate the Mooncake Festival, and, um, and in the Mooncake Festival, at that time, the moon is like an ivory color, or sometimes orange. And we celebrate because the moon is so beautiful. Now that's a great story. There's lots to say about something so beautiful. Here's a very old story from Africa called Why the Sun and Moon Live in the Sky. Long ago, everyone lived together. The sun and the moon decided to build a new house just for them. Their friends came over for a visit, but there wasn't enough room for everyone. So the sun and moon leapt into the sky and everyone lived happily ever after. All over the world, people are inspired by the moon. What about you? Next on Sagwa. Good morning, Wu Gui. Good morning, Wu Gui. Huh? What? Oh, 
Good morning, snail. <laughs> my, oh my. <laughs> what was Good that? Good morning, Mugwai. Sagwa, you're a cat. You're spending so much time trying to be something you're not that you're missing the beauty of the garden. Just love that sound. Good morning, oh. Mugwai. My goodness, I haven't seen her since she was a pupa. Looks just like her mother. Mmm, what a delight. So much to see, so little time. Good morning, Wugwai. Huh? What? Oh, good morning, Snail. Sorry, can't stop. New lettuce to munch. Don't worry. I've had my breakfast. <laughs> Youngsters always in a hurry. This is a good place for a nap. <sighs> Huh? My, oh my! <laughs> what was that? Good morning, Mugwai! What? Who? <laughs> uh, huh? Goodness! Yoo-hoo! What was that? Let's play! Oh, Sagwa, it's you! Good morning! I'm not Sagwa! I'm a tortoise! Whatever. I really must have a nap. says that a cat hopping on one leg is about to fall over. Well, you know what I say to that? Tag, <gasps> you're it! <laughs> Tag, you're it! No, you're it! No, I got you over there. No, you didn't. Tag, Wukwai, you're it! Hey, I said you're it! Honestly, Sagwa, I'm trying to sleep. Ouch! I've got a thorn in my foot. Yes, I see it. Stay calm now. Ouch! There. It's out. Thank you, Wugwei. Well, that was a short nap. seen anything so unusual. Huh? It's quite remarkable the way it moves. What? I don't see anything moving. On the handrail. Do you see? Um... That caterpillar? Marvelous, isn't it? The way it moves? I can do that. See? I can do anything that slowpoke caterpillar can do. And I can do it faster! <laughs> Sagwa, you're a cat, not a caterpillar. You're spending so much time trying to be something you're not that you're missing the beauty of the garden. Look at me! Cats can do anything! 
cats can try anything, perhaps. Sagwa, or it wouldn't have such beautiful flowers. Come, smell this rose with me. It's quite a wonderful smell. Oh, all right. Oh! <gasps> Beautiful. That cloud up above reminds me of something. Do you have any idea? them many times. They're very strong, you know. I wish I was that strong. <laughs> well, if I was as strong as the ants, I could lift you. Maybe you could, Sagwa. But remember, it takes a whole team of ants to lift that dumpling. <laughs> now the cloud looks like you. Well, how about that? And it's moving slowly, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, all right. You know, I am beginning to like this garden a lot. I never realized there was so much to see. That's because you never took the time before. There's always something new to discover here. I guess so. And now we've seen everything. Not quite, my little Sagwa. Huh? Come with me. I want to show you something else. I'm right behind you. Look. Look at what? It's just water. Ah, but watch this. Wow. Do it again. Do it again. Hey, where'd you go? Hm, I'll do it myself.
anymore. Stop! That's not part of the game. Stop! That's not part of the game. for watching clouds. Look up in the sky. <gasps> it's a fish! It's a mouse! No, it's Sagwa! <laughs> <laughs> To learn more about Sagwa, visit us at pbskids.org. Dongwa is my big brother. He's pretty cool. He's really good at Tai Chi. He likes to stay up late and tries to be very mature. Yep, I'm growing up, that's for sure. But when you catch him off guard... Roar! He sure can be really sweet. Oh, you're the winner. Don't tell him I told you. by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Xie You won't want to miss this little guy's big adventures. Caillou is next. Hey, gang. I wrote a song about helping. I'd like to sing it for you now. If your head's stuck in a sweater, ask for help. If you can't find the right letter, ask for help. If you find yourself in trouble, ask for help on the double. If you find yourself in trouble, ask for help. And if someone gives you help, remember to say thank you. Hey, Griffin, what's your favorite color? Mm. PBS Kids is made possible by your support of your local PBS station 